G'day YouTube. I just thought I'd do a video on my solar setup that I did. In my house, it's totally an off-grid system. Now, this video was shot over the past six months. Okay, this is the, the mounting kit for the solar panels. You get four rails in the box. So I put, so you have two sets of rails. I think these are 2.2 long each. So when I assemble this, it'll be 4.4. I've got three panels. This will take four. So this is the kit. This is the easiest way I figured. You get, these are all the bits you get with it. You get everything required to mount your solar rails up. This is a, the tin roof version. Apparently you can get a tiled roof version. But this is what I've got. Now I'm gonna use this. So pretty much this will be my new solar system. There's gonna be three of these solar panels connected to it. Okay, so I'm on the, the back roof. That's my old solar setup there. So my new panel's gonna go along here. There's my rails. So I simply bolt them down to the rafters and then I use the clamps to clamp down the solar panels. I only got three panels, this will take four. So I'm progressing along. So the rails are down. So I screwed the rails down. There's two panels. I screwed into the purlin, the C purlin on the carport. There is a rubber at the bottom. I even put silicon so I don't get any leaks. That's how the rail system works. So pretty much the solar panel sits on the rail. These come along. As you see there, I just screw the nut down and it fastens down the panels. And this is the end piece. All this comes with the kit when you get it. Okay. And I've just been stringing my panels positive and negative, so it's in series. So this will produce probably uh, around 120 volts. My solar controller was a little bit small to be putting the fourth panel on. The 40 volts each, so 120. My solar controller would only take 150 volts. So three of these is, is my limit on my solar controller. Okay, I'll put the other panel in. So I'll connect this one up to the, the other panel. I'll fasten them down. And then all the work up here is done. There's the other panel there. These are the solar panels. Absolutely, it's almost as tall as me, this panel. At 175 centimetres high. You'll see the specs here. So open circuit voltage here, they're 40.8 volts. So if I went four of these, it would have been too much. Maximum series fuse, 25 amps. I've got 20 amp fuse. It's a proper fuse. It's a proper inline fuse that you can buy for these. But anyway, that's they're pretty easy to put in. Just remember, you're plating with 120 volts if you've got three of these. And just be very, very mindful. They probably can harm you if you get a shock from them, that's for sure. It's all fastened down. So there's the clamps. They're all clamped down on the rail. So the beauty about the series, you only need one fuse, where if you're gonna have parallel and you're gonna need thicker wire and you'll need a fuse on each panel. But um, it's good doing it this way. The inline fuse, so that's all it is. You just plug it on, there you go. And that'll just go under there. And this will just run down into the controller. I've got the cable coming down into my the on off switch, my circuit breaker. Right, that turns my solar on and off. And then it goes into my solar controller. This you can just move around. It's on a, like a, this is an old plant stand. Oh, well, I don't know where it's from. It's just, we had it laying around. Probably 3000 watt inverter. I think it's 70 square millimeter cable running the inverter. If 
from my controller. I've got my fuse. I've got a, a 100, I think it's a 125 amp fuse in there to charge my batteries. And there's my fuse for this panel I made up here. Okay, viewers, this is the unit in action. Now, the batteries are charged. All right, so I've got the fridge plugged in and I've got the air conditioner plugged in. Just the box air conditioner. It's running up there. Now that's about a 500 and I think it's about a 540 watt air conditioner. So we're running the air con and we've got the fridge going. We're at 100%. And you can see the shunt there. So it's actually gaining 2.4 amps at the moment. So the solar panels are running that air conditioner at the moment. So the current coming in at the moment is 47 amps. I don't think the fridge, the big fridge is cycling. So you've got these two little fridges here running. This thing here, it's like about seven and a half kilowatts of storage in there. That air con's nice and cool. Blackouts or no blackouts. We're right for our fridges. And in the morning, I boil the kettle, fill a couple of thermoses up, and that's our hot water for the day. I fill up three thermoses. So this one here, and I've got two more over there. Fill them up. And my batteries are charged. It's, it's not even midday yet. I just thought I'd put the air con on just to show you how, how well it works. Okay, so here, here is my fuse that I fitted to my inverter. Now, all you do, you bolt that down on your battery terminal. So this is the 300 amp fuse that I have. Simply that goes on top of that. Then your inverter goes on here, and there is your fuse. So there's that um, battery fuse I showed you earlier. It's a 300 amp. All, all my positives are here, and all the negatives are going through the shunt, which is, there is the shunt there, which feeds off this post up here. So all the negatives going out. This system has been in running now for at least six months. And I'll tell you what, it has been going very, very well. This is perfect, like if you had a bush block, now, after making this up, oh, I smashed this thing here. This is one of the USB outlets. I dropped my iPad on it. I went to charge my iPad and I dropped it on top of it because my iPad charges on top of my batteries. Okay, so this is the um, power pulled in the last 30 days out of the sun. The highest being 7.35 kilowatt hours. Okay, so it gives you some idea what's been happening the past month. So I haven't quite had to use my battery charger to charge the batteries, which is plugged into my um, Genio. I can just control it with my phone. I can just turn it on. There it is there. It's plugged in on my battery charger. So if I'm away from home and I think, oh, geez, I better charge my batteries, I can just turn that on and this will kick straight on and charge my batteries up. It runs our household fridge. It runs the King's 60 litre chest fridge freezer, which that's just on fridge, it's got the beer in it. And there's the Brass Monkey upright fridge freezer. It runs that as well. It's all fridges are cycling. Okay. So we're gaining 2.7 amps. So what you see there, 2.71, this one here. So we're still charging, okay the moment so that's cycling that's cycling that's cycling and we are overcast and the batteries are still charging some days my batteries are charged by 10 30 in the morning the most power i've seen i think was 1300 watts there you go there you go 1343 watts that's the um yeah that's not bad out of them three panels and they are they're only 395 watt panels, I think they are. So I've got three of them up there on the roof, as you've seen, and they're 
punching out. Well, that was a high so punch out. Quite a fair bit. Now, I've got a little basic system out the back. This is the King's 12 volt control panel. These are a bargain if you can get it for 99 bucks. Time you get all the fuses and the fuse box and switches and all that sort of stuff. You will not make that for 99 bucks. They're around 150 bucks, normal price. Yeah, they're really, really good. And I've got them hooked up to two, two of these lithium batteries, 116 amp hour. These are good batteries. I did a video on them, but you can't buy them anymore. You just cannot buy them. So I did the video and I thought, well, there's no point putting the video up. Yeah, I actually got these from Rolling Cart, but then they stopped selling them. So I think there was a supply issue with them. But um, there's a mob called beautygarden, I think, .com.au that sold these also, but they don't sell them as well. I did a video on these. I capacity tested them. They test out 119 amp hours. But this is a pretty good system as well. Pretty much it runs the little fridge out here full time. And I charge electric scooters with it. Now we've got a little, the little Kmart inverter out here. Still going strong, the Kmart inverter. Going very, very well. Charge all our, you know, variety batteries, cordless batteries, scooters, and it runs the water pump in the garden as well up there. That's all done on here. This is the other solar setup I got out the back. Awesome setup, really good. It all works, and of course, you know, it's a 12 volt system. It's not as, as efficient as a 24 or 36 or 48 but if this inverter ever blows his guts i'd probably go to 24 volt system might even do 36 because that controller will go to 48 so you've got a selection 12 24 36 or 48 volts victron solar controllers they're really good they perform very very well absolutely the kick-ass inverter's been going very well. And everything pretty much is earthed to the earthing rod outside the house. So that's the inverter that's earthed out. And then also the solar panels, they're earthed. So everything's earthed to all the required earthing points on this unit. Really good. And the inner core batteries have been going flawlessly. Really good. Fantastic. So yeah, charge all our phones here, run the fridges and ball of water and that's the fridge packed away and there is the system behind the fridge so yeah awesome works for us that is totally off grid by itself and we don't have to worry about the blackout if it happens our fridges will work that is the whole purpose of doing this anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and see you next time bye